Hi, this is Wendy from Knitters Brewing, and I'm going to show you how to do some of the stitches that are in the Lucky Star pattern that's used in Mystery Sock 4. So the first thing I'm going to show you is what's noted as the triple knit one stitch, or trip K1 in the instructions, that's in round 1 and round 12 of the pattern. So it tells you to do the triple knit stitch, and then knit 5, and then do the triple knit stitch again. So that's what we're going to do again. So triple knit is just like knit, only we're going to wrap it around three times instead of one. So one, two, three, and pull it through. And so you've got three wraps on there now. Then it says to knit five, two, three, four, five, and then do another triple knit one. One, two, three. All right, and that's it for the triple knit one stitches in row one and 12. Now in the next three rows, which is rows two, three, and four in the pattern, and also in rows um, 13, 14, and 15, when it repeats within the pattern, uh, the pattern tells you you need to slip those stitches that we triple wrapped in row one. So when you come to one, you're gonna slip it purl-wise, and it's going to seem funny, but you're going to pull this big loop off, and that's fine. It's going to seem kind of loose there for a little bit, especially the first row, but by the time you get to the third row of slipping it, it's, it's going to tighten up. So you just slip it, and then the instructions say to knit the next five stitches. There's five, and then you're going to slip that other one, and then you'll, you'll keep knitting. And if you want, if it helps you, you can just kind of grab under that and, and pull them tighter to have them have their big loops like that. Uh, so when it, you come around to the next two rows, you'll also slip these. They're, they're a lot easier to slip now because you can see them easier. All right, I've completed the three rows where we slip the triple wrap stitches. So that's rows two, three, and four. And now you can see the stitches, the big stitches don't look so loose anymore because the knitting is now as tall as those stitches are. And if you can't remember how many times you slip the stitch, a little trick is look behind it and see how many times the working yarn bypassed it on the back side. So one, two, three. So we, skip, we slipped it three times. All right, so now we're on row five of the pattern. And in row five, we're going to do a one by two left cross, knit one, and then a one by two right cross. And the stitches we're going to be crossing are these big loose ones. So uh, first we're going to do the left cross. I think that's on there, right? Okay, there we go. First we're going to do the left cross. And I recommend not using a cable needle because um, these aren't going to go anywhere. You're not going to lose them. So for the left, left cross, just take it off, put it in the front and knit two stitches off the left needle then pick up your big stitch and knit it there now you've got a two by one left cross then the instructions say to knit one that's your center stitch now we're going to do a two by one right cross so in this case uh, we can do it like like we did the left cross in our previous uh, horseshoe um, work that we've been doing. Or uh, another way you can do it is you can slip these two stitches to the right and drop the big stitch off and then put these stitches back on the left hand needle. Grab that big one, put it on your left hand needle. There. Now they're crossed and then you just knit the three of them. And now you've got the right cross. So what you've made is the two lower legs of the star uh, when you've worked row five. All right, now we're going to work round six. And it's also the same as round 17. And that's where we're going to create the beginning of these two side arms of our stars. So uh, it tells us that we need to uh, do a triple yarn over before we get to these three middle stitches. 
All right, so the triple yarn over is just like a yarn over, only we're just going to wrap it three times. So it's one, two, three. Then the instructions say slip one, knit two together, and pass the slipped stitch over. Be careful not to grab your yarn over. And what that has done is it's caused a, a double decrease. Then we do another triple yarn over, one, two, three, and then we keep knitting the rest of that section. And that is row six and 17. Now we're going to work row seven, which is the same as row 18 when the pattern repeats. And what we're gonna do in this row is secure the outer end of the two arms of the star. And we're also going to start the lower portion of this top part of the star. So in row seven, uh, we're going to knit over to where we have three stitches before that first triple yarn over that we put in in row six. And now we're going to do a one by three right cross. And you can use a cable needle if you want, but again, I, I think it's just as easy not to for these. So I'm going to slip these first three stitches over to the right needle. And then I'm going to drop this triple yarn over to the front. Now I'm going to slip these three stitches back to the left needle. Then I'm going to grab that big stitch and put it over here on the right needle. And now they're crossed, so now you just have to knit those four stitches. So there's our big one, and then the three others that we crossed behind it. Okay, so there's the one by three right cross. Now the instructions tell us to do a triple knit in this center stitch. So you just knit it like normal, except for you wrap it three times. Now we're going to do a one by three left cross, where we're going to cross this triple, the second triple wrap over these next three stitches. So what we're going to do here is drop this off to the front. Now we're going to knit the next three stitches off the left hand needle. It's kind of trying to sneak away from us here, but it's a big stitch. There we go. Two, three. Now grab that triple yarn over, which I kind of messed up a little bit there. All right, now we're going to knit that. Okay, so there's our one by three left cross, and we've put both of our arms on the star. All right, I have just completed rounds eight, nine, and 10 of the Lucky Star pattern, which are the same as 19, 20, and 21 when you do the repeat. And in those three rows, all we did was just slip this triple wrapped knit stitch, just like we did down here in rows two, three, and four. Now we're gonna finish off the star, so I'm gonna show you row 11 which is the same as row 22. And that one's really easy to show you because all that happens is when you get over to that big slip stitch, you just knit it. And in doing that, you secure the top of it. And now you have your five pointed lucky star.